How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Pokemon 151 booster box. The new Japanese set, I finally have it in hand, and I can't wait to crack this open. There's a lot of cool cards in here that I would love to get. Of course, any of the Mew cards would be nice. Also, one thing to note, I... This seems to be very loose on the seal. You see this? And the seal itself, hmm, I don't know. I think it's legit. I bought this from a reputable seller. So I think it's legit, but we just have to crack it open and see if we do get a a super rare to tell if it's legit. But from what I've seen though, like certain boxes actually come with with the with the thing that loose with the shrink wrap, so it should be fine. Okay. Let's break the seal itself and rip open into these packs. Man, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be super awesome. And this booster box, I really really want to keep this booster box in, in good shape. Because, well, it is of course Mew. What I will do, though, I might just take the booster packs out and just, you know, lie them here. Alright, everything nice and neat over here. Let's start off with the first booster pack. Man, I'm excited for this. So there is also, like, between the super rare that you're promised, basically, from, an, from a Japanese pack, there is also like a reverse rare. You get like one of the... Oh, here we go. That's our first art rare, Nidoking. King. Yo, that looks beautiful. That looks amazing. Okay, here is a holographic Ditto, a Machoke, and a Dragonair. Man, this is nice. I was just gonna say, I'm probably not gonna know all these names, but this is from the original Pokemon, so I should be good to go. I still don't know some of the newer Pokemon. Actually, hang on, let me zoom in. Okay, let's zoom in a bit more for now. If we do get more pulls at some point, I will have to zoom out again. But let's just do it like this for now. Okay. Man, this is gonna be awesome. Unfortunately, it is actually... Is that our Master Ball? No, that's a Pokeball. I think you're... Let's see if I can show this on video. I think you can slightly see this here. I think you're promised one, um, one Master Ball. Um, reverse rare for sure, per box, so we'll see. It can be any card. There are some cards that are pretty crazy, like the, the Erika, the Pikachu, specifically with the Master Ball reverse. Man, there are so many nice cards in here. I personally, I mean, you already know, I hope I, I pull a Mew. Doesn't even necessarily have to be the, the, um, whatchamacallit, the ultimate art. Just like any Mew and I'd be very, very happy. Yo, these cards look super, super nice. And it's also really nice to open a Japanese set. Again, I don't do it too often because, well, mostly it's pretty expensive as of right now, these sets. So, I don't get to open them as much. Also, oh, here we go, the Charmander. Now, that's another really stunning art rare. Nice. And the Alakazam EX. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Should I put this? Let's put it right here. And I guess if I do get another pull, I will have to zoom out. But, you know, it is what it is. So far, so far, so good. So yeah, also, I've had pretty bad luck with the with the last few Japanese sets that I've opened, other than V-Star Universe, I guess. But like main set expansions like Scarlet and Violet or Violet EX and Snow Hazard. No, that's just a Pokeball. A Nido King. Yo, that's super. This says no, I thought that was from Akira Igawa, but no. I've had pretty bad luck. From from last year, I've actually pulled quite a few um, full art trainers, and I'm hoping to do that again. Like I pulled Candace, I pulled Furry Soda Girl, so maybe I can pull the Erica or the Giovanni. I'd be happy about both of them. Of course, I'd be through the through the roof for a Mew card. That's also just a Pokeball Reverse. But here we go. We have an R book. Very very nice. We'll see, it's getting... Okay, so this also only seems to be like 20 booster packs. 
Did I get that correct with like seven cards inside? It's like a special set, so that's like, that's why it's, this is special. And also I've heard it's getting really difficult to find even in Japan. So maybe that's why the prices are like higher than usual because there's so much hype between or behind this. It's like almost this, well this is kind of like a high class set, but not really. Because a high class set only releases at the end of each year. And this is like in the middle of the year. We'll see how this will turn out. I hope that that at some point everyone gets to have at least one booster box. I mean, if you registered, if you have a proxy address or you watched my video on how to order from Pokemon Center Japan, you might have gotten one. You know, the one where they made um made to order basically. That's how you that's how they promise you to get at least one. So that's like, I think that's gonna be your best bet to get one MSRP. If you miss that window, then I... I don't know. We'll see how the made-to-order print actually affects sales, although I wouldn't hold my breath. Because if you remember the Ultra Premium Collection, or like the, the, um, the Precious Collector Box, that's the one, with like the ridiculous Pikachu promo. That was made to order and look at the price of that promo, that's ridiculous. Although that's a bit different because that's not a main special. Okay, here's our super rare. We have a Vulpix EX. Not the one I was hoping for, definitely, but you know, at least we now know the box is, is legit. We did get our, our super rare. We still have the opportunity, of course, for for one art rare. And we also have the opportunity for our uh, Master Ball Reverse. So... There are, there are still two pulls in here that we can get for sure. Okay, that is the, the Erika card, but that's only a, a Pokeball Reverse. Here we have the Blastoise EX. Nice. So let's just zoom out in anticipation of, of the next few pulls. Okay, the right side is this is the last booster from the right side. So let's see what we can we can find in here. We have an Abra. We have still a Pokeball reverse. Okay, we have a Jolteon. That's really cool illustrated. We have an Arcanine. And we've got a Slowbro. No goes for that one. The Master Ball. The Master Ball reverse really wants to to show last day eh? it's always the same maybe it's maybe it's something good i mean there is potential here even if your your super rare isn't that good this is still amazing though you still have the chance because there is like two ridiculous ones like the pikachu that's ridiculously expensive for some reason now, that's a nice dragonite by sanosuka sakuma okay that's i think the same one that illustrated the um the friends in gala cards among other cards for sure, but that's just like the most well-known, at least for me, and I love that card. That's my favorite full art trainer by far. It might, it would be, I mean, if the card was actually affordable, it would probably be friends in Alola, Aloha, but that card is just ridiculous. I mean, no doubt about it. That card is just super ridiculous. Vaporeon, got some goggles, and we've got a Muck. The last art rare, should we? Okay, we also, I think we should also get one more EX card. One more art rare. And one more, like one master, master ball reverse. So there are still three pulls here for sure that we should be getting. Here we go, Pikachu! Okay, I'm happy with this. This is a really nice art rare. I really like this art rare, okay. Yo, that, that I am happy with. That's an amazing one. And a Duck Trio to finish that pack off. Okay, that was our last art rare. Hang on, let me just rearrange this so it actually makes sense, I suppose. Let's do it like this, I guess. Yeah, that looks fine. All the art rares up here and our super, super rare. This time around, I didn't mispronounce it. I didn't actually say it's super rare, I always used to call it secret rare. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's see, oh, that's our master, master ball reverse and Arcanine. Okay, oh yeah, there we go. I think you can see that on the reflection, okay. Let's put that here, and a golem as our last EX card. 
Yeah, so I think that should be everything, but we still got a few booster packs left. I mean, who knows? Maybe there is still a chance for a god pack, although I think if you pulled the the super rare, you have no no chance for a god pack anymore. So, well, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. At least we can still appreciate the artwork of of the other cards, so that's still very nice. That is still something, and that is that is what this is all about, right? I mean, of course, the pulls are nice, and if you pull something great, you're pretty happy. But I I love just looking at some of these illustrations, like some of these. Oh, never mind. We get another EX card. Well, turns out I was wrong about the about not not there being any more pulls. Well then. Well then, well then. Three packs left. Three packs left. Maybe we can beat the odds and get like a an, an arrow box with like two super rares. Or like a super rare and a god pack. But, you know. Chances are pretty slim. But then again, the chances of me pulling the Umbreon VMAX last week were also pretty slim. And still, I did it nonetheless. So let's prove, let's prove the doubters wrong. The last pack is gonna be a god pack. 100%. Got a Krabby. Got a Lickitung. Got a Pinsir. We've got a Mewtwo. Oh, by Akira Igawa. Check this one out. This is such a nice illustration. And it's just Akira Igawa. He's like, he's my favorite artist. Super well done. That is such a nice illustration. Beautifly and Giovanni. Alrighty then. One last pack. This is gonna be the God Pack, watch. I already know. I already know. Right, so after this one, after this one it's gonna start. Wait, hang on. Um wait, this doesn't look like a god pack. What happened? No, they must have <laughs> they must have switched them up. Oh well. Oh, well, well, that was over more quickly than I thought, mainly because the booster packs, like, there's only, like, 20 booster packs in here instead of, like, the usual 30. But anyways, this is what I got. Um, pretty happy about the Pikachu art rare, definitely. Let me just show, show that off up close. Because this is actually pretty cool. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a new artist, although I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is a new artist who actually illustrated this, this Pikachu. But well, other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, subscribe for more awesome content in the future. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.